There is nothing like a steamy, brothy bowl of noodles to chase away a winter chill. A uh, bowl of noodle soup is always, you know, really nice to have. It's hearty, it'll fill you up for your day, or it'll make you go to sleep, depending on how much you have. Whichever serving size you prefer, Menyajiro is dishing up authentic ramen that warms both your body and your soul. Part of the comforting feeling is like the nostalgia and, you know, growing up with it. I'm sure that probably goes for a lot of, you know, young Asian Americans, you know, growing up. Uh, noodles are a huge part of, you know, Asian cuisine, and ramen is a huge staple in Japan. The Japanese franchise opened its first U.S. shop in 2017 and expanded to Cambridge's Harvard Square in the summer of 2021. Nelson Nguyen is Menyajiro's manager. Men is actually noodles in Japanese, and ya at the end is just you know that it's a shop. Jiro is the name of the founder, Jiro Anma, an award-winning ramen chef who traveled here for the grand opening and to teach the staff his technique. We do make our noodles fresh. We want to uphold the quality of the ramen and just keep to as close to the flavor as they would have it in Japan. That also means sticking to a precise program in the kitchen. The time are very important for this. If you don't get the noodles into the broth at a certain time, the quality of the dish could drastically change. There's always an optimal time for everything. Sakurajima is served with ramen noodles and broth and topped with braised pork belly, bean sprouts, and scallions. First step is usually to sip some of the soup because the soup takes the most time out of the entire ramen process. It takes us about 12 and a half hours to finish boiling all the, the broth. You always want to taste the soup first to just taste the complexity of the broth. Maze soba is a broth-less bowl made with larger soba noodles, pork belly, bonito flakes, and a fresh egg yolk. And then there's the over-the-top Jiro monster, piled precariously high with cabbage and sprouts, bamboo shoots, and giant strips of pork belly. It's gonna be messy. It's a messy process. It's our signature. It's kind of like the wow factor. Down the street in Porter Square, Sugar and Spice is a passion project owned and operated by Chef Penjan Jamburi Wong for 19 years. Our food is very authentic. Chef Penjan immigrated to the U.S. from Thailand more than three decades ago, but she's been cooking since she was just five years old. So you've been making curries and soups for more than 50 years. Yes, I do. A true expert. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Chef Penjen took the time to teach me one of those curry recipes she's known most of her life, cow soy. We need to steam this. Our restaurant, we have like a four region of the menu. So we have north, we have south, we have uh, isan, and also we have central menu. Cow soy is a traditional Thai dish from the northern region. This vegetarian version is made with tofu, rice noodles, and chili oil in a coconut milk curry soup. So you can uh, move it like this. Mm -hmm. Kind of swing it around. This is, I could eat this every day. Thank it's you. It's so good. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it. If your cravings are more carnivorous, there's the guai jub. This is pork belly. Yes, yeah. I have to pre-made for two days. A hearty, slow-cooked pork broth is poured on top of rolled noodles and topped with that crispy pork belly, tofu, and a boiled egg. If you're a seafood lover who's willing to share, try the mo fi. The clear tum yum broth is the base under a massive portion of prawn, shrimp, clam, squid, and salmon. This is a huge amount of food. How many people will this serve? Normally, when they order, they come with a share, like a family style. So, two people, two people, two or three style. people can sharing. To finish with something sweet, the sticky rice and mango drizzled with coconut cream will satisfy that sweet tooth. And the herbs used to color the rice are rich with antioxidants. I love to cook. Chef Penjen is sharing her love for food, taught to her by her mother and alongside her daughter, Amy, to nourish others. The hot temperature and hot spice level 
will warm you in, inside out and then the taste good. And it's so perfect in the winter when it's so cold to feel warm inside. Yeah, I mean, good news for all of us because Sugar and Spice <laughs> is opening up a second location so we can soon all enjoy Thai soup and barbecue on Harvard Ave in Alston. And Menyajiro actually is also expanding. They're coming soon to Legacy Place in Dedham and the Seaport District in Boston. All right, good news for all of us. Fun next, finding comfort in carbs. <laughs>